Hey everybody, Hayden here from the Pop Culture Gamer Podcast and today I'm just going to do a little review of Star Trek The Motion Picture, the director's cut disc that you can actually buy now. This is not long being out, it's been out the last week or so and this is a beautiful collection. Now this collection is really expensive, this is really really more for the specialist sort of big Star Trek fan who loves 4K movies, this is not your run of the mill i'm just gonna buy star trek on 4k you can buy this director's cut in 4k it's been lovingly restored in terms of the video um, it looks beautiful on screen it's absolutely amazing i've seen it at the cinema um, and i've also seen it now at home and i can tell you in 4k this this movie is mesmerizing obviously it's not the favorite movie uh, for everybody um, in terms of Star Trek but for me this is one of those movies that the older I've got the more I've enjoyed it the more I've appreciated what they've done with the movie and this set is absolutely fantastic okay so let's have a look at the uh, box itself it comes quite like the James Bond Blu-ray set that came out a few years ago when Casino Royale was first launched. It's this sort of like really long book. Here's the back. Lots of information um, in terms of what's what's available there. Um, you get all of this that you can actually see. Personally, I have to admit I am a little bit disappointed in terms of some of the presentation of this i mean don't get me wrong it's beautiful but in terms of being a movie collector and being very conscious of the quality of my discs i don't like the fact that my discs might get scratched by the box i much prefer the normal dvd or steelbook sort of covers that you open up you press the middle and you lift it out this doesn't have that, unfortunately. And I think it's the one negative thing about this collection. So there's all three cuts of the movie. You get the 4K Ultra HD, including the special longer version of the movie, the original theatrical release, and the new version uh, of the restored version of the movie, which is a director's cut. So let's have a look, take this out. The quality of the cardboard is okay. It's a little bit bendy. I would have liked this to have been slightly thicker in terms of the uh, thickness of the cardboard. Much more like something that they did with, let's say, uh, Johnny Darko, where it's quite a rigid sort of cardboard. This one is not rigid at all. It's, you know, quite flimsy and, you know, bendy uh, so you're gonna have to take care of this but it's still really nice it's nicely printed this book opens up massively so if we open it up first off let's say uh, go here so we've got the information here um, from the director of the movie which you can read if you want to and then opening it out here we have one of the first movies now what i've done in terms of this as a collection this was one of the 4k movies i've changed the order in which the movies are in here because i just did not like what how these these drawers particularly worked because this is how you have to get them out you've got to sort of like lift your finger underneath and try and coax them out i don't like this because this is put in um, finger marks on my disc um, I feel like I'm about to break the disc and they get stuck it's really difficult to pull out from there um, as you can see and then obviously you see the finger marks on the edges where I've been trying to uh, get these discs out it's just not it's not very good um, I, I would have expected more um, I did actually put this in here but it's obviously moved like that but it's moved along a little bit that lip there, believe it or not, causes a lot of problems. It's only sort of, you know, it's like your nails height deep, you know, like like a medium piece of cardboard. But that causes a problem to get that out. I just don't like that. 
And then we've got the we've got this lovely diagram of the Enterprise, um, but we've got the same problem again. Another one of these is this one's slightly easier to get out um, of on here, and that one's got the motion picture on. Now, what you might be thinking is, okay, so there's one, two, three, four discs in total on here. There are three versions of the movie. Yes, there are three versions of the movie. This was what fooled me until I put in the original theatrical release um, and then I saw that that had the extended cut of the movie on as well so in terms of here the next bit what I've done is I find these pockets here these two um, are actually uh, the best ones in order to be able to get your discs out because all you need to do is just slightly pull it out like so and this one we can bend that that way and pull it out more easily as well so i've put my 4k discs in those two i would suggest anybody who buys this would do exactly the same thing just to really save on the disc but um otherwise the presentation of this is a set if i take that one out so you can actually see i mean it's beautiful there's no doubt about that it's an absolutely beautiful set but for 60 pounds there are some really major bad design flaws in terms of this as a set. Anyway, moving over to this side, these are the little freebies you get. First off, I was quite surprised about this. You get a little disc box. And when you actually, okay, when you look, this is a bonus disc for the motion picture, the director's edition. So I can understand because you get obviously the HD and the 4K version of the movie all in one go. But why have you put the bonus disc in this box, which would be infinitely better to have put the movie in and to have put all of the movies in one of these rather than those pockets? It's just really stupid and flawed design right the way through. I'm not going to go on about that anymore, but anyway, you get a bonus disc. All of that other stuff, I think, is available on the HD disc anyway. Next up, what we get is we will get these bumper stickers. So, Star Trek, the motion picture, quite like this one. I'm never going to use it on my car, but I do quite like that one. That's quite a nice uh, design. You get I Am A Trekkie, as if there wasn't enough ways for people will be able to take the mic out of me anyway so I'm not going to actually uh, put that on my car but again it's it's a very sort of like vintage retro sort of feel even the, the tactileness of the plastic and everything it feels quite retro to me uh, beam me up Mr Spock this was a point in which I sort of like saw this and I thought has anybody ever heard of Star Trek who wrote who did that or did they just get a couple of random pictures and make you know make that as a figure of speech because it's the quote is always beam me up Mr Scott not uh, beam me up Scotty it's never Mr Spock and of course Captain Kirk never said beam me up Scotty in the mood in the uh, show anyway uh, so that's uh, that one. He did say beam me up, Mr. Scott, though. That's um, something that people don't pick up on. And then we've got this Federation vehicle, official use only. I do quite like that one. I was sort of like, oh, I wouldn't mind putting that on my car, but uh, I'm not sad. So we want, So that's uh, some of the collection that you get. So you get these nice selection of bumper stickers. You then get these quite nice retro stickers they do really feel sort of like the 1970s um cartoon or the, uh, you know the animated series or the um annuals that were available for star trek at that time the way that they look uh, and the design of those but i do quite like them they're really nice and retro uh, you get this collection of cards as well uh, and i'll take these out of here and I love the fact that these have this sepia sort of look over them. Uh, they do look really super, uh, super good. Um, so uh, obviously the the holy trinity of Star Trek, you know, Kirk, Spock and McCoy. Picture of Leonard Nimoy himself there as well. The big scene where they're looking at the V'ger 
probe um, in sort of like the recreation area of the Enterprise, which was, I think, a new area uh, over the original show when it was originally intended to be Phase 2, Star Trek Phase 2. They were going to go for that more sort of like something a bit more akin to the next generation, but then it changed into the movies following the launch of Star Wars. Um, and so I think this was sort of like a bit of a hangover from there. And of course, Captain Kirk himself, William Shatner, Commander Decker and Mr. Spock in the background. Um, William Shatner obviously being the oldest man ever to have been actually in space. Now, thanks to the Jeff Bezos flight that he did into space. And uh, obviously, I've met him as well uh, when Steve, my co-host, and I were both down at Star Trek 50 and we got our pictures taken with Captain Kirk uh, on the bridge of the Enterprise uh, set which was absolutely fantastic and I would certainly um, you know it's one of my sort of like treasured memories met him and uh, who else was it George Takai met uh, Armin Shimmerman and Garrett Wang uh, among some others uh, from Star Trek. Next up we have a mini poster I always struggle, I mean, I love the posters, don't get me wrong, uh, but the poster's always going to have these lines in them. And I always wonder about these mini posters, what they think that you're going to do with them. Do you think they're going to, you know, put them on a wall? Because, let's face it, nobody does, because they're not good enough to actually put out there uh, on, your, on, your, on your wall because of the creases from the folds. But they're nice to have, I suppose. And then, finally... What we get is this lovely sort of uh, booklet which has um, a lot of the art from Star Trek uh, in here as well. And that beautiful shot, that is my favourite version of the Enterprise, is the refit Constitution class. I think it's an absolutely beautiful version of uh, the ship. You've got like the designs for the phases, obviously the uniforms which we only ever saw in this incarnation, the... Shots from uh, Spock being on Vulcan. Um, you've got the painting original idea for the Ilea probe when Spock went into Vija itself. Some of the graphics from there, obviously the Vija set pre being built as well. Uh, some really fascinating stuff in here. The artwork for uh, the Klingon Warbird that was there and some of the Klingon views obviously very controversial at the time uh, a lot of people might remember if you were around because the Klingons just sort of like look like uh, normal humans with to be fair a little bit of boot polish on the faces to make the skin look darker but now in this movie this is where they changed them to the what's probably now quite the classic Klingon look and obviously we've had many incarnations of this and then Enterprise went to fill in that gap of why did the Klingons look different on the original series to how they did on the movie and it was all about the fact that they tried to use the technology based on Khan's DNA or genetic engineering to improve the Klingon race which then caused a virus which then made all Klingons mutate into this and then this was later fixed and people were able to transfer back to their normal Klingon sort of selves. Again, more views, I think probably supposed to, well, that's definitely Vulcan, Vulcan. Um, beautiful art uh, in this booklet. The reimagining of all of these steps, because as you look here, this is very much sort of like a, a walkway, whereas um, I think on the original motion picture, it seemed like the Enterprise just docked in terms of a sea of all of these uh, hexagons. Uh, but fascinating, some of the original concepts. Again, more scenes from that bit where he was flying through, uh, Spock was flying through Vija. And obviously an idea for the early concept art for the Klingon battle, which ended up looking nothing at all like that. And then this quite funky sort of, back view with all of these uh, bits of information which presumably date back some time as well. I do seem to remember some of these uh, things actually from my childhood so yeah um, a really nice sort of collection so again like I said a booklet 
it is really again low quality um you know it's more like a pamphlet and i'm sorry i'm going to re refer this back back to the John donny darko uh, set which was a lovely set but this was a hardback book on the johnny darko set and uh it was i think cheaper uh, than this version of star trek um but we get this sort of like cheap book Again, you know it, it does some sometimes even though this is a beautiful set don't get me wrong it does feel like we're being undersold a little bit but the stickers are quite nice quite like the retroness of them uh the poster is a nice to have but not something you're ever going to use the cards quite similarly obviously the bonus disc because that that's on the, the 4k blu-ray anyway and the bumper stickers which i'm going to keep but i'm never going to use uh, but like i said the artwork on this is really lovely particularly that uh, cut out of the enterprise but for me i've put the 4k versions of the movies in here because i just think that they're going to be easier to get in and out of over time rather than uh, anything else but if you want to watch the long version of the movie it is on the normal disc uh, the normal 4k version of the movie it's not on uh, the director's cut so always go to the 4k movie version of the uh, disc to be able to watch the extended version which had a few extra scenes in um some of them probably quite pointless uh, but was still very nice but in terms of presentation as a movie the movie is absolutely fantastic it plays it looks beautiful on screen there is no two ways about it this movie is a must for any star trek fans get it in your collection you really 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 need to get this into your collection and if you can't afford or can't get hold of this version then i would certainly recommend buying the director's edition in just normal 4k it is beautiful it's stunning to watch the film has never looked better not even when it was originally released seriously get this as a collection it's absolutely fantastic it is hard to come by but it is a bit of a collector's piece as well so yeah that's it that's my review for uh, this obviously not a review of the film but just as a collection itself so hope you've enjoyed this and come back soon because we're going to have a Steam Deck review.